What's up? My name is Gran, and people ask me a lot of questions about movie making, how to render, how to record, and etc. So I decided to make full length movie making tutorial for you guys. So let's start from the loading programs. First program is Half-Life Advanced Effects. Everyone knows how to download it, so let's skip this part. Second program which you need is recording software. For NVIDIA users you can use Shadowplay like me, but for MD users or other I recommend using Fraps or OBS. And the last thing you need to download is Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects. I make my effect movies in Sony Vegas mainly because it's easier. So for Shadowplay users, here is my recording settings. For Fraps or other software users, I want to recommend to disable all HUD from it, such as like FPS. And before we go to the game, I want to say that you need uh, cracked Fraps or like Bandicam to disable the 30 seconds limit because with non cracked versions you can record only 30 seconds. And now let's go to our recording part. Before we gonna go to game I want to say that you need to go offline on Steam to disable all the notifications from it. So here we are in CSGO. Uh, if you don't know how to enable Half-Life Advanced Effects just watch for other videos because it took much more time if I will talk about enabling this and it's just easy, it's just easy. So now you need to pick which demo you will record. Your matchmaking demo, pro matches demo from Hashel TV or demos like from Faceit or Isia. If you want to record your demo in matchmaking then just press watch in the top of the menu or press shift plus F2 to browse your demos and other folders. If you want to record pro matches demo, then go to Hashel TV, press here, and just find the tournament or match you want to download it. When you downloaded it, just press Shift plus F2, press load, and find the, the demo and open it. If you want to download Face It or ECA demo, and you don't own the round, then I recommend program called CSGO demo manager. This program just simply will analyze your demo and you can watch every player highlights from it and find exact round which you looking for. So let's join any demo. So here we are watching a demo and now what you need is to exec my movie making config which you can find on my steam profile. If you already have my config then just write exec auto exec mvm now you can see that uh, some color has changed uh, you can also change the sky to whatever you want for example I'm using Vietnam to change sky just write SV sky name and the uh, name of the sky in the console also you can add a bit of fog with a command fog UI and just simply drag it a bit here and enable it so here we go before recording demo, you need to find player's ID. How to find player's ID in Half-Life Advanced Effects, you can watch video on Flexboy channel, link gonna be in the description. So now when you found player's ID, then just simply open demo view with a shift plus F2 combination and drag this small thing before the frag starts and change the speed to 0.25. Uh, why 0.25? Because it will like look smooth in the slow motion. If you want to make smooth, then just ask me in the comments and the next tutorial will be like on them. So we recorded our demo and now just simply drag it to Sony Vegas. Before that you may ask why I didn't record the sound. Uh, because I add sounds manually because sounds in the game are not very good. And I have my own CSGO sound pack, which gonna be in the description. 
So now you need to drag any music in Sony Vegas. Here we are with our clip and music. Now you need to sense it with the music. Just simply find a drop in the music, if you know what I mean. So first track must be in the drop. Also, you need to add orange flash on the drop or on the last track with a slow motion. If you want to learn how to make orange flashes, then you can watch my previous tutorial video, which is gonna be in the description or on my channel videos. Before the clip, you can add smooth or intro if you have it. So now, you need to add color correction. I add color correction with a color balance plugin and color curves plugin. Try to find yourself the color correction to make your effect movies unique and like it's very easy to find color correction. Now when I finished to adding sounds, let's go to rendering. I'm rendering on .avi on compressed, but I'm using X264 codec. You can simply download it on the internet. Here is my render settings in this codec. So hope you enjoyed this video, learned something about m making and making edits, and hope I helped you answer some questions. If no, then feel free to ask them in the comments. Also, you can join my Steam group for video upload informations and interesting stuff. So see you in my next video.